Welcome again to Chris's Career of Indie Lights. And today we're going to do a few um, we're, going to, we're going to do a few takes on ginger. Uh, ginger, it's uh, as we know, it's an antioxidant. It's an anti-inflammatory has anti-inflammatory pro properties. Um, we use it a lot. We cook with it. We make drinks with it. And it, it's also good for nausea and it relieves cold symptoms, the common cold symptoms. You know, clears your, your sinuses and all that. So, today I'm going to show you some preparations with ginger that we can use. We can make a ginger sauce, we can make a ginger, a pickled ginger, and we can also make a ginger tea. So, these are, these are the three things that we're going to prepare the ginger for um, on this episode. So let's go to the cutting board and let's get some ginger cut. So here I have on my cutting mat, I have a few pieces of ginger. Now we're going to do three, three preparations for ginger. Um, for three for three different um, ginger um, recipes. Um, we're going to make a ginger sauce. We're going to make a ginger sauce. We're going to make some ginger tea. And we're going to make some pickled ginger. Okay. So, first of all, not in every, not every recipe calls for the, the peeling of ginger. But most of them, most times you would just like to peel it. To get the skin off so to get the skin off the ginger there are several ways once you have a blunt end a blunt uh, thing like a spoon take a, take a spoon and you can just rub that spoon against the ginger skin and it takes it off this is the easiest way i find uh, doing it peeling the ginger you just get in there and the spoon the spoon does a very good job does an excellent job getting the skin off so some so basically we just need to get a blunt end <clears throat> the blunt end of a spoon and just scrape scrape the skin off you can use the back of a knife also i have used the back of a knife several times when i'm in a hurry and it does the same, does the same thing. So this is the way you peel the ginger, get the skin off, okay? Now, since we've peeled this, we'll put this aside because we, I need the peeled ginger for, for one recipe, for the, um, for the pickled ginger recipe and Right now I have six cups of uh, water on the fire. I'm going to bring that to a boil and I'm going to make some, this is going to be my ginger tea. So I'll be making some ginger tea. I'll be making some, um, some pickled ginger and I also be making a ginger sauce. So for the ginger tea, we just need to slice. We just need to slice the ginger thinly. So we we'll just go ahead and we we'll slice. We don't need to peel it, but we just need to slice it just as thin as this. Very thin. So just go ahead. I have a serrated knife here, but you don't necessarily need one because I, I can use the back of this one also and it does a very good job also. So for the ginger tea, you will take like a four inch piece of ginger and thinly slice it. Thinly slice it as I'm doing here right now. And once that's thinly sliced, we bring, we get the water. The water is on the, uh, on the stove. 
what is on the stove. You're going to bring that to a boil. Or you can bring it all to a boil at the same time. The ginger and the water. But we're not going to add anything else to this ginger, to this ginger, to this ginger tea. We just make a nice plain ginger tea. And um, so four inches of ginger, which I sliced very thinly, you just add it to the water. So now we're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to let it simmer. We're going to reduce it to a simmer. And once it's reduced to a simmer, we're going to let it cook for, let it simmer for about 20 minutes until the water reduces maybe by like two thirds. And then once that happens, you can either strain it or you can serve it just like that. But right now, just let it reduce and let the let it extract the ginger the ginger uh flavor and the goodness from the ginger okay so we have our ginger tea going there now let's prep the ginger for our ginger our pickled ginger the pickled ginger i need to get all the skin off I guess this is just for presentation really you know um, you get the skin off and just clean it up a little just clean it up a little for the pickled ginger so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to slice for the pickled ginger. As you can see, my ginger tea is really boiling here. So we're going to reduce this, reduce it to a simmer now. I put it down to medium, medium low, and let it just simmer for another 20 minutes. So for our pickled ginger, which is the next recipe I'm going to demonstrate. We need two tablespoons of sugar. I have granulated sugar. I have three pods of star anise and one teaspoon of uh, kosher salt. We just put that all in there. And in a small saucepan, we're gonna add half a cup of water and a half a cup of a half a cup of uh, rice wine vinegar, rice wine vinegar, or rice vinegar. Sorry, <laughs> not rice wine vinegar. Rice vinegar. A half a cup of rice vinegar. Okay. And to the liquid, we'll add the sugar, the star anise, and the salt. Obviously, we're going to give this a stir and then we put it on the fire and let it come to a boil. Whilst this is coming to a boil, over here, we need to just make this, uh, put that on medium. Once that's coming to a boil, we'll slice the ginger. Take that little dark part off. So we're slicing peeled ginger here now to do our to, to make to make the the pickled ginger we are slicing peeled ginger and you need to slice it as thin as possible um, mine should be able should be even thinner than it is right now 
you can use a mandolin for this also. And pickled ginger could be used as a topping for burgers, uh, hot dogs, uh, uh, jerk chicken, you know, all those delicious meats that, you, that we enjoy during the summer. So, we, we have that. We just place it into the container that we're going to use. So we place the ginger, place the ginger in the bottle, in the jar, place the ginger in the jar here. We're going to add two, two chilies or miri, these are our Guyanese weary weary peppers. We just place, put some scars in them. Now you put them right on top. You put them right on top. So this is what it should look like. So when the water boils, we're going to add the water to the, the star anise liquid and the sugar and the salt and everything else. And that's how we're going to get our pickled ginger. Okay. So that's for the pickled ginger. As I was saying, we have our stuff here that's ready for the um, the pickled ginger. The water is boiling. It's now really, I have to let it just boil for about two or three minutes so that that star anise can get into the liquid there. Now, we're gonna make a ginger sauce. Ginger sauce, that's comprised of some greenery. So we're gonna just get some green, I have some thyme here thyme with thyme leaves you can just use the leaves of the thyme just use the leaves of the thyme just get them all off and we're going to use A cilantro, a finely cut cilantro. Not, yes, yeah, no, scallion, scallion. We're gonna use a scallion here. And we're gonna cut it as thin and actually we're gonna mince the scallion. Try to mince it. Time. Scallion, mince that well, and the bowl that we're going to use. Now, so that's in there. I like to use a microplane. You can use a regular grater, but you have to use the fine side, the very fine side, because we're going to grate this ginger, and for the ginger, for the ginger sauce. We're gonna grate this ginger here. And to grate it, you just rub it against the microplane, microplane. You just have to rub it against the microplane. See how nice and fine it's coming out. So we're going to go ahead and finish this piece and I'll be back. So now that I've finished grating the ginger, I grated like maybe uh, a four, pea, four inch piece of ginger, a four inch piece of ginger, which is going to, which is, which gives me like a, uh, one inch would give you one tablespoon gra um, grated. So four inches would give you four tablespoons of, of grated ginger. 
right? Which is what I'm going to add now. Four tablespoons of grated ginger. I'm going to add that to to the cilantro. To the why am I always saying cilantro? Maybe there should be some cilantro in this dish. Huh? What do you think? Anyway, um, let's get the uh, scallion. I have scallion thyme and scallion thyme and the ginger in there. Okay, so this we're going to do for this is what we're making the um, the ginger sauce with, right? So we have to season this. We're going to season this with some salt, some white pepper or black pepper and some other seasonings. So I'll be back. So I grated my ginger and I also have the thyme and the uh, scallion in there that I finely chopped. Um, I took the um, this is my this is the pickled ginger the pickled ginger the pickled ginger I'm going to leave all the recipes and the measurements down there but I pierced some holes into the chili peppers the liquid which is the rice vinegar water sugar and salt and kosher salt I had it boiling it simmered for at least 10 minutes to get the uh, the, the flavor of the of the anise the star anise out then I poured it on the ginger this is going to set for at least 48 hours before you can use it 24 probably but those pieces of ginger are going to be infused with that wonderful flavor that you would want it can it'll it can last in the refrigerator for weeks so and I also have here my this is the tea the ginger tea is reduced it's, it has been it has been boiling there for at least 20 minutes and it has reduced uh, at least the three quarters so we're gonna stir it we're gonna pour that off and we can sweeten it with honey or whatever sweetener you you choose ginger sauce so we have here for the ginger sauce we have scallion thyme grated ginger and I'm going to put also some finely chopped finely chopped ginger in there so you can get some chunks just a just a little to a little crunch once again so I cut them in sl in slivers I cut them in slices first I'll cut them in slices then I'll stack the slices stack the slices and then cut again stack the slices and once I have those done these are matchsticks these so these we call matchsticks and these can be used also for garnishing garnishing you can either do this with ginger you can do this with a lot of stuff um, a lot of other stuff, um, jicama and uh, potatoes or whatever. But um, this is a, a cut that we call matchsticks. So we cut them into slices, then we sl stack them and cut them again. And then now we're just going to we're just going to dice them up, dice them from the other end. And then you see what we're getting here. Wonderful. Okay, so we're going to put that into the ginger sauce. We're going to add that to the ginger sauce. Wonderful. So, for now, everything seems to be coming together. Now, there's another step that has to be done. In, uh, I'll, have, I'll use this, this uh, pan here because I need to, 
with some. So here we mix our ginger sauce. I'm mixing in the scallion with the ginger, with the ground and and uh, and finely chopped ginger. And we're gonna add here some kosher salt and some white pepper or black pepper, whatever you have. So here, let's add some, I just had black pepper. About a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and some kosher salt. And we'll mix this again. Because now we're gonna get some vegetable oil and we're gonna heat it to smoking. We're gonna get it smoking hot and then we're gonna pour it on pour it onto this onto this mixture that we have here. So while the oil is getting hot uh, for the for the ginger sauce, let's strain our tea. And this is what it should look like, a nice tan color. So here we have a wonderful glass of ginger tea. And we'll just add some, I'm just adding some kosher, some uh, agave nectar, some blue agave, agave nectar, just as a sweetener uh, to give it, a, give it some taste. And then you can serve this either hot or cold. You can serve it hot as it is right now, or you can serve, you can put it in the refrigerator, let it cool right down, and then serve it on ice. So, ginger tea. This is your ginger tea that has been brewing for the last 25 minutes, and there you are. Now, we'll go to the ginger sauce. So now let's move to the ginger sauce that we were making. And this is some is three tablespoons of vegetable oil, which we heated to smoking. As you can see, it's smoking there. And we're gonna pour this now onto the, onto the, the ginger and the cilantro and the thyme. The ginger, cilantro and thyme. getting a bath of very hot oil. And I guess you can just give it a stir. Let that heat, let that hot oil get in there. But just be careful with the container that you're using. I'm using an oven safe container, which, which takes a lot of heat. It can go up to at least 500 degrees but um, just be careful with what you're using so now we can just let this sit the ginger is going to be infused the ginger the thyme and the scallion you're all going to be infused and you can use this any way you want So once again guys like share and subscribe and i thank you for watching and ginger you know ginger is an excellent um health uh has excellent health benefits uh antioxidant it's uh, in um, anti-inflammatory you know and lots of health benefits and i'm going to leave a link to the ginger beer and the ginger the other ginger um the other ginger recipes that I have on my channel. So, um, thank you for watching and stay healthy.